grab compile uh Command. Maybe it's already one lower. Is it already in the parent? No, there's dir? no way. There's no way that happened. Uh, compile commands in the parent dir. Is it? It doesn't look like it is. Anyways, we're just, you know. We don't need it. We don't need it. Okay, we're very good. We can good do it here. the old-fashioned way with just grep and uh, identifiers. Just like just like it was intended to be for C. Yeah, thank you. We're going to actually go. We're going to go the proper C experience here. I will search mm -hmm. for what I need to know about. Okay, so I don't know how this test stuff works. Every time I do anything with C, C++ testing, it's very emotionally difficult so it looks mm -hmm. like they have all the tests and all this this looks great nothing in here yeah okay everything looks great if you just knew it that'd be <laughs> actually having tests that's a plus one i mean yeah. they had to cheat and do it in c plus plus but it's still plus one they still almost used c right like if you really think about it it's pretty much c like when you really think about it okay so they got the selector. Yep. so why do you think they're they using size holy cow someone was serious yeah well of course you'd always use size t what would you use <laughs> I don't know, probably just int. <laughs> but but int is, you don't even know the size of int. So, okay, I know, that's what I'm saying. That's that they, what I'm saying. They're getting serious. Another reason why you'd want to use size T is all the uh, all the standard libraries, they all use size T. Like Vector would use size. I know that's C++, but they use like size T. Uh, well, he was using C++ technically. So. Well, not anymore. Not right here. This is regular not now. C. Now, okay, but can we stop though? I don't like putting the star right before the name. Like look at that in line four. Or er, 13 above you yeah yeah. No, no no 13 above in the function name like on 11 above you right here right here yeah 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 i i am definitely not that way either i'm more of a uh i'm more like yeah, that. at least yeah it's because i feel like this is a type yes agreed it is a type you know what i mean oh it is a type yeah. but it's also there's like one place where that's not true uh do you know why people don't do that um probably for some random c87 problem yeah so if you go like this if you go int foo and a guess what oh that's no. a pointer that's not a pointer oh no <laughs> oh no you define more in one line so if you're a bad programmer <laughs> it becomes a problem is what you're saying yes, yes. if you do this you f should be fired for just doing this okay this is already yeah. a problem can we, can we just say this isn't a problem in jdsl yeah this is not a problem in jdiesel please okay jdiesel all right, so look at that. We're newing up a little Slexer. I don't know why it's yep. called a Slexer. This is pretty good, though. We're grabbing the input. Because it's a struct. Oh, that's... Okay, so hold on. What, what, what's the name of that type of uh, variable creation called? Where you I put, don't like, know. I haven't seen it before, but I think that's why they're doing it. Well, you put, you put the type as a part of its name. I know it has, like, a specific name. Uh, like, uh, in Zig, one of their arguments for making functions camel case versus variables underscore or snake <sighs> case is that you can tell right away if something's a function or not but i feel like that's just like that's an lsp problem that's not really a yeah. i don't need it in my names i need it in my you know but i, I totally yeah. get that okay so we got our slide i'm not hungry though thanks for asking i'm fine i'll eat lunch later yeah can you please stop uh please stop taunting we're trying PJ. to focus on some code here yeah very inappropriate all right so here we go yeah. so we have uh this oh also i love the fact that it's public functions nice and they're all named with uh you know they're all named camel case then private yep. functions. It's good. Underscore. It's, it's underscore pretty good baby. looking code, actually. It's, it is very good looking code. All right, so this looks exactly like every lecture you'd expect. If read position is greater than, then we just do the end of file. Yep. Else we're going to progress something. We're going to read the current character, then we're going to progress forward, and then. Yep. Okay, good. This looks good. White space, this is exactly what you would expect. This is yep. actually pretty. This is actually shockingly readable code. Um, it's, it's good. Yeah. No, this it's because really it's not C. <laughs> <laughs> like. I feel like this is where C++ shines pretty well. Uh, just because yeah. you don't have to have underscores as meaning, uh, but people still put like S and M yep. for their variables. So I'm sure when we get to C++, we'll see a lot of M variables. But yep. this is where I feel like C++ is really nice. Is It's, it's fairly easy. Uh, all right. Let's see. How do they define the token? Like, how do they define the token type? Uh, let's see. The token type. So that is going to be, the, that's the big question. Hold on. I got to find it. Token type. All right. Uh, I used to have the way to search underneath my character. I got to get that back in. You spelled parent wrong, so. You know, classic. Classic. Yep. Uh, okay. All right. Type so it, enum. It, yep. It's just an enum. Let's see. Let's go yep. back up here. All right. Then, oh my what, goodness. do they have a big union? Do they have a big union? How do they keep the... How do they keep data inside any of these, or they don't? Like, how do I they do it for, they like, do. an They have an S token, which has a token type and a literal. Oh, I see. Okay. So they don't technically need to do that. Uh, so here's yep. something I don't understand right here, 
is what is this name and how is there a little pointer business right there? I think it makes a token. Like, so now later you can use a token type as like the type, right? Yeah, but, but why is there a pointer right here? <clears throat> Or a star. Uh, what is I can... don't know that. I don't know this this syntax. Like I know that people do this, right? Like that's a normal thing to do. Yeah. Then I believe you oh, can I reference it in here, right? You can reference a token in here. I don't know, but I thought that's what I always forget when it, when it comes to C. I forget if this is the one you get to reference inside, or if this is the one you get to reference inside. Uh, token equals a pointer to uh, S token. Yeah. Oh, so it actually becomes a type deft. So when you say the word token, it's actually it's actually a pointer. So does that mean that's a double pointer? Token star P yeah, that's a good question. Is that a double pointer? I don't know what it yes, does when it's it's a there. double pointer. Okay, it's a double so pointer. Should it not be a pointer? Would it make more sense? Okay, so we got a bunch of yeses and a no from noob mind though, so that kind of makes me question whether yeah. noob mind said no. So And Gaboo said both yes and no. Again. Nice. Not very reliable answers here. Yes, double pointer. So it becomes null after free. Hmm. Okay. Oh, nice. So that way you avoid the old uh, the old uh, double free slash use after free problems, right? By making it a null. It's a seg fault? Oh, okay. Classic. <laughs> well, that's a given. <laughs> hey, see you later, allocation. Or see you later, <laughs> allocator. Yeah. After a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. And I always cool. forget about this one. You have to do this whole like header thing. That's just not something, yep. you know, I haven't done that in a long time. Yep. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's because oh, when he runs it in the test things, oh, there's like you a have different... to do an extern C. That's right. Yep. That's right. Okay. Okay. Yep. Forget about that. This is good. This, this looks good. pretty good, though. Yeah. You should I work like on NeoVim. You should work on NeoVim core product, huh? You know exactly True. what you're doing. He, <clears throat> he seems to know exactly what he's doing. Let's see what a token create yep. does. Uh, can I jump to definition? I can. Okay. So this thing returns a token, which is a pointer, right? Yep. And so it's going to take in a type and a literal. And so it's going to create a size of one of these, malloc this thing back, this bad boy out, set the memory to zero, uh, set the type and all that, and boom. This is beautiful code. This is really good. Looks good. Looks yeah. good. And okay, so this is why you did the double pointer, is because on token cleanup, you can say, hey, if this thing does exist, then we do this. Yep. Else. And they also need to free the memory of the, like, the literal chars that are saved. Yep. Yep. Nice. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thumbs up. I like it. I like the C. The C is pretty good. Nice. Um, where does he do, like, what's the end of the lecture part where he's reading, like, the numbers and stuff? I just wanted to see kind of what it looks like. You oh, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, where yeah, he's yeah, doing, yeah. like, the, the switch the statement. End of the... You're looking for the switch statement. Okay, so yep. he used an if statement, it looks like. Oh, he used a double. Okay, so I was I was wondering about this. All right, so he skips yep. white space. He goes through Mark. all the basic tokens, and then he has an end of file and all that, but he hasn't done a legal yet. Then he does if it's a character... Yep. Then we create token and we return it. This is exactly how I did it too. This is actually, this is yep. almost one for one the TypeScript uh, implementation <clears throat> is I do a big switch yep. statement and then I follow it up with two if statements because I don't have the expressive ability to express this in a single structure. Right. This is beautiful. That looks good. And then if it's not a token, yep. then illegal. it's illegal. And then we read Next one character. more card. Yeah. Boom. Okay, this is good. Great. Hey. It's beautiful. Chat, what do you get? I'd what do give you it... If I had yeah. to give it a ladder grade, I'd give it a C. You give it a C? That's pretty reasonable for C. <laughs> I like what you did there. I personally yeah, would give it thanks. D. Oh, D-Lang does fix problems for smart programmers. Yeah, which I'm not one. But if I were one, I'd definitely give it the D. I'd give it a go out of 10. A go out of 10? That's pretty good. <laughs> I think that's actually a pretty big compliment, really, when you think about it. A go out of yeah. 10? Uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, who wrote this? Does anyone in here wrote this? You almost look like uh, you're in the incoming same Incoming a thousand me's. <laughs> <laughs> who wrote, I wrote this? <laughs> I wrote this. Who who wrote it? <laughs> but actually, though, that one was great. I would. That's Tom, pretty good. Tom did. Jo Jonathan Blow. Everyone deserves the D. Yeah. <laughs> Take a chin. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey, Me too. I'm just scratching my chin as well, so it's kind of nice. Why is why is my coloring? So much more human colored. Uh, I have too much white lights in here, I think. Yeah. Or am I just too red? I think you're oversaturated a little. Okay, am I a little too red? And I'm probably a little undersaturated. Yeah, lighting is so hard. People have no idea how hard lighting it. is. It is so hard. <laughs> I'm in a room with no windows, and I still can't get my light right. Yeah.
I'm too red. Okay. I, yeah, I'm not gonna fix that now. <laughs> <laughs> or ever <laughs> yeah or ever let's be real all right um all right let's keep on going this was good all right let me let, let me put a little end of c there that one was really good though i liked it a lot yeah it's nice because you can just read it 